everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my journey with telogen effluvium, which is a hair loss that is diagnosed um, usually after trauma, sickness, fever, um, stress, anything like that. You can be diagnosed with telogen effluvium, which is basically like 75 up to 75% of your hair is pushed into the telogen phase, which is the shedding phase. So it usually lasts, the shedding phase usually lasts like the hair phases last 100 days. So on average, those who are experiencing telogen effluvium will experience this rapid onset of hair loss and it's not just normal where it's like whatever it's like I would do this right here and I could pull out 20 strands of hair and it went at that pace for me for for me personally it went for almost about 100 days it was a little over three months that I experienced major hair loss and I had a lot of hair to begin with um, but I've lost 75% of my hair. And some people are like, oh, you can't tell. Um, <laughs> it's growing back now, but this is how much hair I have left total um, all over my head. This is how much hair I would have had just right here in this section right here, just in general. Um, so, and it's just very like, thin and like like look at this like if you know me and have watched my videos you could see back like that my hair is just not the same so basically what happened is I had the Rona and about five well so my dad died in March and then I had the Rona in August and about five weeks after that um, I noticed that my hair was falling out and I had heard from a few people like oh they mentioned that they had hair loss and I kind of went in one ear and out the other and thought okay um, that's not gonna happen to me because I haven't really heard that before um, but then I thought okay well I'm already like stressed from my dad passing away and everything um, anyway so my when my hair started to fall out I was like this is insane because it's like full pieces it's not just like breakage it's like your entire hair hair piece it falls out like from the follicle so basically what happens is is that your body a lot of times even if it's starved of oxygen or anything like that if your oxygen stats drop lower um it it basically kills your hair strand and it sends it into the shedding so the hair is damaged already and and there's really nothing when you're an intelligent effluvium when you have that happening there's nothing you can do to like save the hair at that point the hair that's already dead is already going to fall out it falls out later at the like five weeks later basically for me was all, when all the hair started to fall out so what was dead was already dead there's no reviving that and there's a lot of people I feel like will that will take advantage of you in this time because you're so desperate to stop the shedding that you'll, you'll do anything you'll buy anything so I'm going to show you what I have bought and what I have used and Please take this as a grain of salt almost and just maybe my experience. I'm not a professional. I did go see a dermatologist. They did look at my scalp and said that I had a healthy scalp, that, that this was telogen effluvium and that it lined up with, you know, when I had had COVID and to when it was falling out. So I think that if you guys all have experienced um, something where you're like desperate for an answer you know that you'll try anything and I just don't want people to be taken advantage of because I feel like I was just so desperate to fix this the falling out and I'll just tell you it just doesn't stop like from something that you're taking what what I realized and recognized is what was going to fall out was going to fall out and I was going to A, get my scalp healthy and B, um, just take a bunch of vitamins to supplements to get my body healthy and then that would help with the new growth. So I just had to come to the, I literally cried every single day for almost three months like and pretty much was sat still in my life like I couldn't do anything and I know that sounds so 
vein, but when you're losing all of your hair, it feels like another loss. Like it just triggered a whole other sense of loss for me and it was just very overwhelming. So during the time that I had this, I had a super sore scalp. That was one of my first indicators. It honestly felt like my scalp felt like I had had it in a ponytail all day. Um, so when I did go to my dermatologist, I got the diagnosis of telogen effluvium. I felt better that like, okay, this is temporary. This is okay. But when you're in the midst of it and you're, I would say I lost the majority of my hair within a five week period. So it was like, come on. And then it was like major hair loss. Like I did save some hair. So just to show people and also to really show myself like, okay, when is it slowing down so I could have markers? So I saved this. This is just how much I lost. I don't even know if you can, let me just get it out here. This is just how much I lost on 11.29 in the shower. This is just the shower, okay? This is, it has nothing to do with like me brushing it or anything after the shower. That's just from in the shower when I was washing my hair and then I would, like do this like with the shampoo that's how much hair was falling out um, if you're queasy over hair like don't look at this part i saved from how much hair i lost this is just how much hair i lost in one week okay so we're talking extreme hair loss here so this is just one week of hair loss that I saved and that was that was just from showers and brushing okay that had not that was nothing to do with um, anytime I brushed and cleaned my brush I put it in there anytime I would brush my hair was packed my brush was packed full of hair which opposed to I would use a brush and it would have like maybe three or four strands in it typically so that was just from brushing mind you then throughout the day anytime I did this I could pull hair out and I wasn't like trying to intentionally pull hair out it just anytime I touched my hair I had hair all over my clothes literally all over my clothes it was everywhere everywhere my family was annoyed anything I would cook I would like literally be looking at my sleeves the whole time like making sure because you can't tie your hair back because you want to try and like not put any like pressure or pulling or tugging on your hair at all so I'd have to leave my hair down my hair would get matted and like super matted and the texture changed like I'm just now getting like the texture of my hair back but the texture completely changed and it was like rough mats and now I took pictures this whole time I will show you the texture and everything in my hair so I'm just letting you know my experience and maybe if you are experiencing anything similar to this you can know that it's normal and like look this is um three or four months later and it's already like back to normal texture this is all I have left though and I'm you know growing back right here but it was pretty bald I will I will show you pictures of how bald it was um so I'll, like I said, I'm going to insert pictures of my hair growing and coming back and um, I it, it lasted, like I said, I started to notice it slowing down on week 13, week 14 it had completely stopped shedding um, and then it I didn't even notice any regrowth at that point. It was just like what I was left with and then within two week period I noticed a regrowth so from 14 weeks to 16 weeks I noticed some start of some regrowth so I'm just going to show you I think I'm 17 weeks out now 17 or 18 weeks out so like this is like you could usually see like all of my scalp right here can't highlight my hair but like you can see like this part right here is so thin, like it never used to be like that. Right there, I'm like, why didn't, why couldn't it take my sideburns, like for real? Like I hate those stupid freaking sideburns. Um, like my high V's, like this stuff is just now starting to come back in, like straight up, like was straight up bald right here and it was like gaping holes. Even my part, like I had no place I could even part my hair. Um, it was bald everywhere. So, extremely emotional for me, but um, I feel like I had it pretty bad, but not as bad as some other people that I've seen. Um, 
hundreds of thousands of women are experiencing this and men as well and I only started knowing about it when it happened to me but then when I started to dive into the community I posted TikToks on it and there's there's thousands of comments of people I'm experiencing this too I'm experiencing this too so Again, I'm going to share with you the things I've taken. Um, some people that I have found, I'm going to tag below, who have really come up with, I'm going to give the top four vitamins that that person recommended to take. So here we go. In all of my quest for things, um, I found that a liquid vitamin was the best. I was taking a prenatal vitamin when I started out, and I this... This brand, this particular one was recommended by this girl, Melissa. I will leave her. She is a hair loss specialist, and I'm going to leave her information down below. She's on Instagram and TikTok. Um, this is Mary Ruth's Liquid Morning Multivitamin, and it's in raspberry. I love the Mary Ruth's brand, so I take this every morning. Um, you do want to take a multivitamin. Okay, and then she recommended a probiotic. This is, I keep these in the fridge. Um, this is the Mary Ruth Liquid Probiotic. So again, we're working on like our internal health and a probiotic will help with all of the stuff going on in your gut. So this, she has seen so much progress um, and she has tons of videos and pictures of people with regrowth from these four things that I'm mentioning right now. Um, and then pumpkin seed oil. Pumpkin seed oil is known for hair growth. And so this is this is what she recommends. This was even the brand that she recommends. So I'm just passing along this information. And then there's one more thing. She recommended biotin. And this was the Nature's Bounty one that she recommended. So I just wanted to say this one. I did also take for about four or five weeks. I took the... Um, Mary Ruth's biotin gummies so and then I switched to this so this is 10,000 mcg of biotin so I just wanted to share those are the four things that she recommends that if you're gonna do anything at all to do that now I'm gonna show you the additional things like through other research and sort of I don't even want to call it research but sort of looking around and p picking things from different people um, that they tried uh, that I have been consistently doing. So I did want to share with you those as well. I've been doing those four things for about six weeks now. And then I wanted to share the other things that I've also been doing. Um, but those four things in particular, I think, are really helpful. Um, so I got the Modere Trim. And there's a BioCell one this is collagen, so liquid collagen, super important. Um, if you are looking for someone who sells more dare, I will leave the link to the person um, that I recommend down below. Um, I am taking these vegan turmeric gummies. These help with inflammation, and so again, I'm just looking for like good gut health, good health for my scalp, internal, your hair growth and your scalp is really an indicator of kind of what's going on in your body. Make sure every single day to take vitamin D3. This is the 5,000 I use. Um, I also, if you could have an iron deficiency, um, a lot of people who are experiencing hair loss also have an iron deficiency, so I'm taking extra iron. I'm taking this liquid chlorophyll, and it kind of leaked in the bag, so it's like a little bit on my hands. This is really, really, it tastes like crap, I'll tell you. It's peppermint, but it tastes like a, a plant and peppermint. So this is working on your candida growth in your, in your gut, so this is to work on gut health. Then I take lysine. This is the skin and tissue health lysine. I've, I've always heard to take lysine for you if you have like um, cold sores or anything. So this is a great like well, we're working on our scalp health here. So that's why I take lysine every day. And then the last thing I take is this copper. This is the nano copper um, crystalline nano. This also helps for a lot of women are experiencing regrowth that is gray. Um, this the reviews on this were really great when it helps it helps with um your hair growth and like getting rid of grays is what oh it came recommended to me from my sister-in-law and she has been taking this for years so anyways um it boosts your immune support and everything so 
I take a capful of that every single day. Okay, so those are the vitamins that I take. And like I said, the first four that I showed you are the first four that um, if you are going to do anything at all, I think you should do that. And then also I think you should add a collagen on. I would recommend adding a collagen on. I think it would be extremely beneficial um, to you for, for adding it. The reason that I take a liquid, the liquid ones, is because it absorbs into the body more um, just from what I've heard. So like I said, I'm not a specialist. I'm just trying to share with you guys my journey and what I'm using and what I find has been helping my regrowth situation. Okay, now a lot of people are like, well, what products can I use? What products can I use? Listen, like I said, there's nothing that's really going to stop your hair growth. It's really nothing. So it was all about scalp health for me. When I went in, I decided not to do like Nioxin or anything like that. I wanted to do something more natural. This is HG, um, the Bondi Boost HG shampoo and conditioner. This is like vegan, you know, silicone free, cruelty free. So I really, really sulfate free. Um, I loved this. So it has like rosemary, peppermint, and, um, stinging nettle in it. It really soothes your scalp and I really, really appreciate like a nice sort of mentally situation in the shower. Another one that I loved, you can find this at Target. This is the Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. This is really good and I found it moisturizing. Since I was losing so much hair, I only needed just a little bit. Um, the shower experience for me was extremely traumatic. So anything that was like spa-like for me, I would try and just like listen to music and take my mind off of like my hair falling out. And I know that sounds silly, but like honestly, the more you stress about it, the more stressed you are, the more hair comes out. And it's a vicious cycle and it's a horrible thing to, to happen. And it's, I hated when I heard people say stop stressing out because it was like, oh yeah, stop stressing out. Well, I can't because all my hair is gone. So like, I get it. It's stupid, but, but I can tell you like the second that I was just like, okay, what's gone is gone and what will be will be new and I just have to get through this that was the shift in in me so I loved anything with like mintiness and rosemary I did make like a ro my own homemade rosemary spray which you just boil rosemary um, on the stove and you just put it in a few drops of like um, rosemary oil as well into a spray bottle and I sprayed that on my roots for a really long time as well after a shower but Anyway, and this is from the same brand, the Miel. This is the rose, like, see, look, I have hairs, it's like even stuck to this because that's like how desperately, I mean, even when I was doing this in to my scalp, it would pull out like another hair would be like wrapped around the little dropper. Before I would take a shower, I would put this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil on my scalp and let it sit for 30 minutes, sometimes if up to two hours if you can, but I just... <sighs> It was traumatic because anytime I had the oil on my scalp, like I looked even balder. And so I know that sounds so silly, but your mental health deteriorates during this. So um, anyway, I use that and I, I feel like I liked that. Like again, another rosemary thing. Rosemary is known to be helping stimulate scalp. When I got out of the shower, I absolutely first things first needed to put some type of like detangler in my hair. I just wanted to share with you guys the two detanglers that I used. I used this um, Oi All-in-One from Davines. I love that one. Okay, and I used this one. It's a 10 and I liked that one as well. The two hair brushes that I used, I used this to comb through my hair. This is just like a wide tooth comb. Um, and it helped and like my hair would get tangled so the hairs that would fall out would like wrap around and tangle around the other one so your hair gets extremely tangly so I would just do it like this when I would go through one pass like this through my hair like this and if I would pull it out I would have about 40 strands wrapped around here it was insane and I used this tangled teaser brush and so you know I just felt like it was the most delicate and I would get out and I would start at the ends and do this and I would pretty much cry the whole time I know that's sad but it's very traumatic brushing your hair after the shower because that's when again you're losing so much hair every time you shower um, I also slept on a silk pillowcase I found that helpful and I switched to microfiber towels so that I hair towels so that when I was drying my hair it was just really, basically I treated my hair like a newborn baby. 
okay and that's what you kind of have to do these are other products that i tried but one of these i absolutely recommend and love the other ones i'm like i don't know if they did anything this is the finish cbd plumping serum i like this but again you just spray it kind of in your roots i don't know about that this is the um vegamore glow hair serum i liked it but again i don't feel like it has what this divi does and this is the one that i keep repurchasing because i love it so much this divi scalp serum it feels very nice and tingly and for me my scalp was so tender it was so just inflamed that i needed something that has like a minty feeling this aids against hair thinning um, detoxifies build up so this is really going to give your scalp like the best ability to breathe just in two weeks i don't know if my hair was just growing back or if it was the products that i'm using but i noticed a huge difference once i started using divi so this is just the one i love and besides the fact it smells like eucalyptus and peppermint and it has like caffeine in it that stimulates the scalp so everything just makes your scalp perfect for new regrowth to come in and that's why I love this one just the way it makes my scalp feel is for that alone I will continue purchasing it last thing that is newer to me that I don't really know but I wanted to let you know I'm trying it is the Monet intense repair treatment um, I am trying this out but I haven't been using this the entire time but I will let you guys know and like I said I was desperate so I was ordering everything the Divi and the four vitamins that I recommended at the beginning are the two things and then the Bondi Boost shampoo those are the things that I recommend like a hundred percent recommend and I know that they make a difference and for me that I felt like they make a difference um, this is the root magic um, cover-up so it really does a great to sort of conceal your scalp if you're going someplace I don't find a lot of um, I have the color dark blonde I think um, yeah dark blonde I don't find that this one transfers so I like this one it doesn't leave like a ton of buildup um, I am trying the Monate Studio Volume and Lift Spray. This works really, really well. I just spray this in before I do a hair dryer. Now, a lot of people say don't use heat on your hair. I feel like I need to use like some type of heat on my hair just to lift my front part to give me a little bit of volume or it's like flat to my head and it shows my scalp a whole lot more. So like for my own peace of mind, I was just like, you know what, I'm using heat, okay? So use a heat protectant spray and then I use this volume and lift. I've been using this um, Monate, is it Monate? Um, Rejuva Beads Split End Mender um, on my ends. And I use a dry shampoo like in between like washes because I try not to wash all the time because it was so traumatic to wash my hair. So I tried to wash every three days, four days if I could push it. Um, but again, you can't wear your hair up. So it's really looking, your hair is really looking tragic a lot. Um, the Living Proof Full Val Volume Blast. Now this is more for when my hair is growing back now. I feel like just to give it some volume, I use this and the Orbe um, Wave and Shine Spray. I also use this. So I hope that any of this helps you guys. If you're experiencing this, I am so sorry. Again, I'm going to leave all the people that I feel like I followed. And the last part of this video that I do want to mention is that I ordered wigs because from Chelsea Smith Cosmetics. I absolutely love her as a person and I love her wigs. They are affordable. They're about $100 a piece. They're affordable, high quality synthetic wigs. I thought it would be fun to just have, you know, embrace the hair loss and just be like, okay, this is the phase I'm going through and during this I'm going to be a redhead or during this I'm going to have curly hair all the time. Um, I love the wigs because the synthetic hair, it stays in a fixed style. So like if it's curled a certain way, it's always curled that way. The more you wear it, it the curls won't fall out. Um, there, it's just a great thing for if especially if you're experiencing temporary hair loss you don't want to invest too much money but you also want to have fun with it the second that I got a wig was also a second that I felt like a release on my body like okay this is going to be okay I have hair I got one that looked like my hair I got one that two that are redheads one with bangs one not and then one curly curly blonde one so um i plan to do a full video on the wigs if you guys are interested i'll do a try on on of all of them and my review of all of them so let me know down below if you guys are interested in that and i can just show you if if that is the route that you would like to take and if you are experiencing this please reach out to me if you need support like 
trust me, you're not alone. And um, I, I want to provide you some hope is when I was feeling absolutely hopeless, my hair did grow back. My hair did grow back. It is growing back. And um, so in the thick of it, I remember feeling like it would never grow back. So I hope this video finds you well. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.